So you might be in a situation where you're trying to go ahead and basically transfer your data from an Android phone to an iPhone. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. If you're trying to go through and transfer your data from an Android phone to an iPhone during the setup process, like you're trying to transfer everything, you can use the native move to iOS application that's inside of the Google Play Store. So you can go through, find the search button down here and find the move to iOS option right here, move to iOS. And what you can do is you can go through and you can go ahead and basically move all of your you know, information, all of your data from your Android phone to your iPhone. So you can see right here, you just have to download this application. And then during the setup process, you'll be able to choose exactly what you want to transfer. So you can go and transfer your messages and camera roll and all this other stuff. So that is actually pretty basic and pretty easy. Now, if you're talking about transferring like photos and stuff like that from an Android to an iPhone, you can use some sort of wireless transferring method. Like you can always upload it to Google Drive and stuff like that. But one of my favorite ways of doing it is called SnapDrop. And what SnapDrop allows us to do, it's basically just this like, you know, SnapDrop, uh, it's like an AirDrop type of alternative. And what you do is you open up SnapDrop on both. So you go through, open up SnapDrop on both, and I guess it's owned by uh, LimeWire now, which is kind of surprising. So now you go on both of these websites on both these types of phones, right? On both the Android and iPhone, and you choose where you want to send the file to. So you can click upload files here, and you can go and choose which files you want. So in this case, I'll choose right here. And then you can go ahead and just try to find the files that you want. And then you can go ahead and as long as they're on the same website, you'll be able to basically find the type of, you know, so you know, files that you want to go and you know send off. And that's basically how you kind of do it. Now, this is one of the ways to do it. Again, this one's a little bit different because I guess the website changed a lot, but you can go and do it this way. There's a lot of other ways to kind of do it there too. And then from the other device, I guess you can go through and basically take a screenshot or you know scan this QR code, and then you'll be able to transfer the files that way. So that's basically how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.